Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. Today I have the pleasure to show you a couple of tricks that you can use inside Code Gadget Free using AUM. The first one is to actually control a gadget inside Code Gadget Free using AUM, a MIDI processor in AUM like Code Jump. And the second one is actually how to control two gadgets inside Code Gadget Free using MIDI out inside Code Gadget Free via AUM. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so we are inside Core Gadget Free, as you can see, new project, and we have also AUM open, and you can see there is nothing really in here. Let's click on the plus sign and create a MIDI channel, and then let's bring in Core Jam, like so. Perfect. Now let's open it up. Let's maximize the window. Let's choose uh, a preset like this one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to the option here where it says MIDI output. So we're going to choose uh, gadget virtual out. So we go back to gadget and we can create a new project as we normally do. And we choose um, a preset, why not? Sorry, a gadget, why not? Like um, Phoenix again. Perfect, now, so, if I go back to AUM and I press play. As you can see, a uh, chord jam is playing a number of chords here and is controlling effectively, uh, let me go back to, is controlling Phoenix here. Now you cannot control when you are inside Core Gadget Free what is happening with chord uh, jam inside AUM. Indeed, here there is no playing active. The transport control inside uh, a Core Gadget Free are actually off. Now let's click on the plus sign here again and let's scroll down. And let's go to uh, tap A here for MIDI out. I like to have these on the left hand side. So I click on function and I click on the arrow here. So I move it to the left. Nice little uh, shortcuts to move them around. So now I select that these will have an output of being gadget again as a port. Also make sure that it doesn't receive any MIDI input. So I'll go to all here and I select uh, no input. So effectively, uh, I don't want any input messages coming into these gadget because I'm going to use this one to go outside uh, the gadget port and then go inside an AUM a a and then from AUM coming back inside here and therefore um, skipping this gadget and going directly onto Phoenix here. Okay, hopefully this makes sense in a moment. So what do we do? We remove Korg Jump here. We click on the plus sign we create a MIDI bus. We click here on the left hand side. As a MIDI input, we accept again the virtual port from Core Gadget, and then we go up again. And as a MIDI output, we go to Core Gadget again. So we use effectively this MIDI bus to actually relay back the MIDI input message coming from Core Gadget Free, and then to send them back into Core Gadget Free. Okay, so let's click play here now inside Core Gadget Free. And um, now you don't hear anything. Let's click on the plus and si uh, sorry on the loop. And the reason that you don't hear anything is because you don't have anything on the clip here. So let's open it up, and then let's maximize the uh, sorry minimize the panel, and then let's create. <laughs> So you can see, um, as I'm clicking here, um, I'm previewing notes that are coming from Phoenix. So effectively, Type-A here is sending messages out to the gadget port, virtual going into AUM, then AUM send them back for the same gadget virtual uh, out port, and then it is coming back inside Core Gadget Free and then hitting Phoenix. So let's click play. <laughs> Sounds amazing, right? I'm controlling a uh, one Korg um, gadget here from this gadget here going through AUM. Nice little trick. Of course, because it's going out to AUM and then, and then coming back, it has a little bit of uh, uh, latency or lag 
Um, so you need to be careful on that as the project grows, but it's a nice, simple trick. Now, you could add another gadget here. You could say, again, let's bring in another instance of Phoenix. Why not? We go inside and um, we can then change the preset. Um, um, yeah, and then click play. As you can see, if I solo these, these two will be muted. This is still running. And you don't hear the two Phoenix call gadget, okay? And of course, you could continue like that. So for example, now you can mix it up a little bit. So we can go here inside uh, the London gadget and we start to create a little bit of a bit. Like so, and then some close out like so click select select all of these like so decrease the velocity here for all of them like that and then exit here click play So you can hear a slightly lag between because that will be what would happen but also you have to um to Phoenix uh, um, gadget as well that create a little bit of that effect as well. Again, let's change some of the presets here. So that is a, a nice little trick that uh, you can use in case um, you want to actually drive something like so. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the little tricks and as always, see you next time. Bye.